Hi everybody, this is TT Readings and today this reading is going to be for Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for you Virgo. From October 1st till um, October 10th. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for you. Do check out the extended version of this linked down below in the description box for you guys okay so in the extended we're gonna have a look at your person more the outcome the advice the love notes all that is gonna be in the extended you can watch if you're interested okay So let's see. What are the messages for Virgo? October 1st till October 10th. What are the messages? Five of Cups. Looks like you're disappointed. Ace of Swords. To me, this does look like there is communication coming in for you. There is clarity, there is communication, there is truth coming up about a situation. I feel like some of you are heavily disappointed um, at the situation, at whatever is happening between you and your person. There is that, you know, um, energy of, damn, this could have been better. That's the kind of energy that I get from you. With the Ace of Swords, you could be wanting a new beginning. But again, I feel like there is some uh, there is some truth, there is some clarity coming up for you. Um, even though you might not see it or you might not see it coming because you don't realize that it is coming in towards you. But it is coming, you know. Let's see. Let's see. I see resistance. I see I see there was lack of growth in a situation. Okay. Yeah, the justice. So Yeah. I feel like somebody was not being very expressive um, with the way they were feeling in the past and that caused a lot of miscommunication and problems between you and somebody. Could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It does look like um, there is willingness on somebody's part to come forward and make it happen with you. This is a love offer coming your way. Um, but you could be resisting it. You could be resisting it. I do feel like um, in the past there was lack of growth between you and somebody. It's like when somebody promises you the world but doesn't give you the world kind of a situation. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, again, it does look like there was no growth in a situation. There was no forward movement here between uh, you and this person. And you are disappointed or you were disappointed. I still see the energy of disappointment, Virgo. You're still disappointed. You want for this person to be more open and honest with you. It's like somebody was making you wait. Your person's energy, eight of wands. I see a lot of communication coming in your way. I see somebody wanting to make things right with you, actually. And you might be, it's like you have your back turned and you think that, no, it's never gonna happen between me and this person. When is the issue gonna be resolved? But the thing is that the issue is being resolved. You, I feel like you just don't, you just don't believe in the fact that it is going to be resolved. Kind of an energy is here. Okay, you could be crying over spilt milk. It does look like uh, you're sad. You're sad um, over what could have been, and you're sad because you were very emotionally invested. Okay, that's also why 
all of this sadness is happening here. Uh, some of you could be searching for the truth, uh, searching for the truth, searching for clarity. Uh, Virgo. Okay. We do have the Ace of Swords here. I do feel like uh, this is coming in towards you, but you might not see this coming. You know what I mean? So there is somebody who wants to make things right with you. There's love offer coming your way. But I see some resistance. I see some doubting. Okay, is this the truth? Does this person really want to connect with me? There is somebody who's very willing to make things right with you, Virgo. And there's that energy with the eight of ones that is like, um, that is communication coming up for you. Then we, oh, we have the page of cups. Could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So in your person's energy, we are continuously getting um, communication cards, Virgo. So there is communication coming up for you, okay? I do see somebody wanting to tell you something, somebody... Um, wanting to express themselves to you, okay? It looks like somebody wants to forget about the past drama and maybe start fresh with you. King of Cups. Don't tell me, Virgo, that you don't have feelings for this person. You do have feelings. That's why you wanted growth. That's why you wanted expansion here. You do have feelings for this person, okay? Um, but I feel like maybe you are the one who's a little bit more in control or a little bit more mature with your feelings. It does look like you're the one who's able to control more, but your person kind of like is a little bit impulsive. You, you do want this. You, yeah. Three of pentacles. There is communication. There's willingness to make things right. You also want to make things right. I feel like, so this means that you both are pretty much on the same page. But there is some doubting on your part. You could be doubting. You could be like, mm, maybe I shouldn't open up right off the bat. Maybe I should analyze the situation and then see what suits me the best. Kind of an energy coming up from you, Virgo. I see a lot of communication happening after a long time between you and this person. Ooh, we have the Knight of Wands. So tell me how many communication cards, how many wanting to make things right cards do you see in this reading, right? Too good. Uh, it does look like somebody is coming in towards you. But again, it does look like um, you could be doubting it because of what happened between you and this person in the past. Okay, yeah, Nine of Cups in the reverse. I do feel like when this Knight of Wands shows up in your life, you're going to be a little bit skeptical about it, Okay. Um, this person could be somebody who doesn't, um, this person seeming like somebody, you know, how they keep things up in the air, how they, you know, they, they're all about the talk, a little bit of a player like energy here and there, you know what I mean? So they constantly run away from their feelings or they're never ready to ad admit their feelings. But they are ready to offer you some love, flirt with you, be with you, talk to you, things like that, okay? I do see arrival of somebody. But your energy is more like, I want something stable out of it. And your person's energy is more of like, let's see what happens, okay? Um... For a lot of you, I see multiple people as well, Virgo. I'm not going to lie. It does look like there are multiple people for you coming towards you. If you have multiple options. Queen of Wands. Talking about people. How many people are here in this reading? You feel left out by somebody. But at the same time, see, I feel like you feel like there's no communication happening between you and somebody, Virgo. You could be looking forward to communicate with this person. Um, again, I feel like there was ghosting involved. Okay, somebody ghosted another person with no clarity whatsoever. And now uh, you could be waiting for them to appear in your life. And meanwhile, it's really disappointing you, you know, the waiting games. It does look like they're coming back, though. Okay. Give me more energies for Virgo. Four of Cups. See? You're, you are a little bit skeptical about this arrival. 
you know you're like yes you are coming up towards me um some of you are even losing hope that this is ever going to happen and for the rest of you it does look like you could be second guessing when this person comes back you'll be like wait a minute you played me in the past i'm not going to open up right off the bat okay how is it that in the past there was no growth and expansion but now you're acting all lovey-dovey towards me so it does look like something from the past disappointed you uh, but then maybe you also had this awakening you know some of you did have had this you know inner voice that told you that you know maybe things something happened away for a reason again i do see this energy where you are willing to grow you're willing to expand and protect yourself from things that hurt you um and in the meanwhile i do see somebody coming in towards you virgo uh offering you love but i see you being skeptical about it because this is the same person who maybe ghosted you in the past you know so you're you're being like hmm i'll think about it i'll think about it you know let's see <laughs> i feel like some of you really don't like the way that this person is um you know the way they play the way they are a little bit of a player like energy that you don't that you do not appreciate whatsoever so but you do feel like uh this person returns um but the way this person carries themselves something about their player like persona is what bothers you okay I see a lot of you being focused on your money, your goals, your finances. I do see you wondering about this person. We have the Ace of Wands. You name it, we have it. We have so much communication in this reading that I'm shocked. So if you, oh, we have the Two of Cups. It looks like somebody wants to see you face to face. Somebody wants to pursue you. Somebody wants to be with you. But this Two of Cups is looking mutual to me. So maybe you also want to see this person. It does look like Virgo. Uh, if you have multiple exes, I do see return of most of them. Or at least two people I see coming towards Virgo. I see two people. Okay. Um, yeah, there's that sense of this isn't over yet kind of a feeling that I'm getting from this reading. Now let's see what the Romance Angel Oracles are saying. The rest will clarify in your extended Virgo. In your extended, we're going to have a look at your person more. Um, the advice for you, love notes. How are they feeling? What is the future of this connection? Uh, how are they coming in towards you? Um, what is the advice for you? What are the love oracles saying for you? So all that kind of stuff is gonna be in your extended linked down below we have retreat it's time to disconnect from the world i do see you and your person reconnecting it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the receive the highest energy of all it does look like you're a little bit skeptical about um a certain reunion here okay some of you are losing hope in this because this person has lied to you in the past we have religious factors your love life benefits as you oh i completely read that wrong <laughs> your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path some of you do have uh, issues um with your you know stemming from your childhood okay let's see reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life i do see somebody coming back towards you that is very strong so first um tarot kept saying that there's somebody coming back and now even the oracles are saying there's somebody returning i do see a lot of you being focused on your um religion or your spirituality trying to ask god for help whatever you believe in you're having a hard time opening up to love because of the past betrayal you know what i mean so that's about it those were the messages that popped out for virgo for now do check out 
the extended version um, for more details, more extra details. It is going to be linked down below in the description box for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Take care and bye-bye.